now that we have the ability to basically execute abilities based upon our input, as well as fire off the various events such as input pressed and released, we are going to want to also set up some way to set default abilities and default effects that are just kind of immediately applied to us. So for example, we're gonna have an array of gameplay abilities and an array of gameplay effects. And in retrospect, we're gonna have two functions for each of those. So one would be say, add ability. One would be called add abilities. And these can be used as helpers for being called outside as well. But in this case, it is just going to be ones that call themselves. So for example, we would call on begin play add abilities and pass in the abilities array that we have. And that would go through one by one and give us the ability. So let's create those functions real quick. So void add ability. And it's going to be a T subclass of U gameplay ability. Likewise, we're going to have void add abilities, if I can spell, which is going to be a T array of T subclass of U gameplay ability. And that's just going to be called abilities. So to run farther with this, we need to have some U properties so that we know which abilities and which effects to actually give. So you property, I'm going to do edit default only category is going to be, we'll do abilities. And here we want a T array of T subclass of you gameplay ability, and we're going to call it default or let's do starting abilities. That'll work. And likewise, let's duplicate and we're going to have another one for you gameplay effect and we're going to call this one starting effects so we have our starting abilities and our starting effects so starting with our abilities we're going to go ahead create the definitions for our add ability and add abilities starting with add ability we want to give ourselves the well ability so if we search for give ability you'll see it takes in a gif gameplay ability spec so we need to construct one so we can do so very easily. So F gameplay ability spec, we can construct one out of the ability class we are typing or we are passing in. For add abilities, we can iterate over each one. So for T subclass of U gameplay ability, and we're gonna call this one ability in abilities. So for each ability, we're going to call add ability and just pass in the ability itself. So go ahead and make that a constant because we're not doing anything with it. And likewise, make it a constant as what we are passing in to add ability. So now that we have that, we want to consider firing this on begin play. So on begin play, so if, let's see, is there not a has authority by default? So let's just go to give ability, because that should have a reference here. So is owner actor authoritative? So we're going to call that. So if the owner actor is authoritative, only then will we give the ability. So for reference, we can wrap is owner actor authoritative for both our add abilities and add ability, or we can just make it simple because regardless, it's not going to be added anyway. So if I keep forgetting to copy it, owner actor authoritative, at which point we call add abilities and we pass in our starting abilities. Oops, add abilities, not ability. So that'll handle when our ability system component is constructed. It's going to go ahead and grant us the various abilities that we assign. And at that point, we can just execute them. So we can basically, by default, have ourselves set up to have our jump ability done. So moving back to our ability system component header, we need to do the same thing for our effects. So we're going to do add effect and add effects. 
replacing ability with effect like so so we can do the exact same thing except this time we want to well add an effect so let's see apply gameplay effect to self in our case it's going to take in so let's look for gameplay effect spec so here we want to apply gameplay effect spec to ourselves so in this case we need to construct a f gameplay effect spec so f gameplay well let's actually look for how we actually can rate this so if we search for spec it might come up here we can see one for make outgoing spec takes in a gameplay effect class which we have here and it will output a gameplay effect context handle so this will give us a let's see doo -doo, or sorry that is the uh, parameter it outputs a gameplay effect spec handle so we're going to call make outgoing a spec pass in our effect that we want to utilize it with we'll just default to a value of one and then it wants a gameplay effect context handle so f gameplay effect context handle we're just going to call this one context handle and for now we'll pass that in and what it returns is a f gameplay effect spec handle we're just going to call this one spec handle okay so what we can do now is for the apply gameplay effect spec to ourselves we can give it the spec handle however it takes in something else so if we look we see we need the gameplay effect spec so we can grab the data which as you can see here is the gameplay effect spec and we need to dereference it so then the next is construct a new prediction key we don't need to worry about any of that and we are good to go so we have our data and if we look through the context handle i don't really imagine there's going to be much that we would add to it but I believe there was something about an owner because I really cannot remember as it has been a little bit oh not to worry about it all right so here we applied our effect now let's go ahead and call add effects or sorry we're gonna call add effect from our add effects function so we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did with our abilities and we iterate over it so we're gonna have a for loop of a t subclass of u gameplay effect and we'll call this effect and it's going to be inside of our effects so from here we simply call add effect and pass in effect making it quite a bit simpler so inside of begin play we're going to also call add effects and pass in our starting effects like so so that'll just be so it can be applied to our gameplay attributes later down the road for another series so let's go ahead and launch it all right, so back in the editor, if we go back to our third person character, we can remove our give abilities and our begin play. And inside of our ability system component, we have our starting abilities and starting effects. So as a test, by default, we press space, nothing happens, no prints. So if we give ourselves our gameplay ability of jump and we press space, we now have our jump ability active and on input pressed. And when I release the key, we have our on input released, which ends the ability. So we can keep jumping, well, and such as, well, shown there. So that is going to be a wrap up of the prerequisite course for the future tutorials that are going to require gas, such as the zombie series that's upcoming. So in the next video, we are going to do a general overview of what we have done and kind of explain more so piece by piece and hopefully if you have any missing gaps that were not quite understood it will help fill them but uh yeah that is going to be all for this series with the exception of the next video and i am planning to continue this as a gas series in general so yeah that'll also be utilizing this so anyways that is going to be all. I'll see you for the explanation and uh, yeah, whatever else I upload.